When it made landfall near Panama City on October 10, 2018, Hurricane Michael was a strong Category 4 hurricane. But six months later, after assessing the widespread damage, NOAA's National Hurricane Center upgraded Michael's strength at landfall to Category 5, the worst storm to ever strike the Florida panhandle. The storm began as a weak tropical system in the Western Caribbean. By October 7th, it was a tropical depression. The very next day, Michael became a hurricane, and it took only two more days to intensify into a major hurricane. The P3 crew, just returning from their last run through Hurricane Michael, say they knew right away it was going to be a serious storm. Hurricane Michael is a doozy of a storm. It was rapidly intensifying during the time we were out there. The pressure was falling. The winds were increasing. Uh, most hurricanes really are not that turbulent. This one, we got bounced around quite a bit. And when the storm passed, familiar stories of heartbreak, loss. I'm very thankful. We've been walking long ways. We've been in water up to our waist. It's been crazy out there. I asked NOAA Flight Director Michael Holmes to reflect on the difficulty of the Hurricane Michael mission. Michael last year, a monster storm, intense storm, probably you know, in the last 20 years, one of the most intense and largest and obviously the destruction we saw on the ground. What was that storm like to fly in? Was it different than other storms? Could you tell from your perspective in the plane? Uh, I would characterize Michael as uh, a challenge for two reasons. One, it had an extended phase of rapid intensification and that was exaggerated uh, by its proximity to land. So typically my anecdotal observations of storms and, and their ride, if that's you wanna, how you want to characterize it, is if a storm is weakening or intensifying, it's generally a bumpier ride. 